Right, good morning. It's the um, final part of uh, Peaches Blinders, called Peaches Blinders, because there uh, are three guitars that belong to a friend of mine, Rob Peach, um, who works out at Iscox Cases there. He bought me three guitars uh, quite a while ago, a few weeks ago, about four or five weeks ago. Um, two needing complete fret levelling and one needing a complete refret. Um, so I've done the work. Now, by rights, I owe Rob a bit of an apology because he should have been done last week, uh, but I had a bit of a setback and I had to take a few days off. But that aside, that's no excuse. I still should have pulled my finger out and got them done. But anyway, they are done. And uh, I said I'd get them back to him for a gig he's playing. He's playing a gig. And he says, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's all right. I've got other guitars. But he has got the gig tonight. So I've decided I'm taking them back today and I've got them ready for today. And apologies aside, I'm going to talk about the guitars. And the three I've done are... I'm going to bring them one by one because they're all now set up ready to play. And the first one I'm going to bring is the Axis, the Ernie Ball Axis guitar, absolute beauty, natural finish, uh, maple fingerboard, maple neck, um, maple top, beautiful guitar. I don't think the back was on when I got it, I've not put it on anyway. This had a complete refret, um, it's all done, it's all ready. Actually, might be a little bit high, but we'll get away with it. It's all ready to play. Uh, it's had a complete refresh. I'll show you before. So I've already shown them on earlier videos. Absolutely brilliant. The biggest, or not the biggest thing, I've put the D2, and I've never tuned one before. I've just tuned it in. It works absolutely fine. The bridge is screwed right back. It's right on the body there. So there's no pullback on the tremolo. Just pull forwards. But it works absolutely fine. It's in tune. It's in drop D sharp or drop E flat. Or well, it's tuned into E flat or drop E flat, depending on what you do with a D tuner. Lovely guitar, ready to play, ready to go. Um, I'm going to stick it back in its case and uh, I'll show you the next one. Right. Just bear with while I sort this case out. One case. Brilliant. That's that one away. Next one. Absolute beauty this. This is his pride and joy. It's his prized possession. It's his JJ. It's a JJ jewel. It's a custom custom shop jewel. Uh, made it the JJ Custom Works. Uh, it says that on the back if you want to see. Up here. This came in. This needed a complete fret level, which I've done. Um, and there's a problem with the nut. Now I've had a couple of nuts on there. I've gone back now to the original nut. Um, I, I rummed it on again after last time. I took the original nut off and I put it back on and it was still it was ringing like a sitar here and I realised the action, the nut was too low and the action the action's as low as we need it anyway but it was ringing a D there and I thought I'm going to sort that out and I put my new nut on and my new nut though okay <clears throat> and more specifically especially for that it was too thin that way it, it was it's, it's like a little bit slimmer so it didn't work properly so what I did was I decided to just slightly shim the old knot. It's got a tiny shim under there that you can't see. You, you don't even know it's there. The other reason you do know it's there is because I've told you it's there. You can't even see it. Um, it's, a, it's a thin layer of five mil uh, tape that has gone across the wood and we glue onto this. So, good thing about that, when we remove a knot in the future if we need to, we can just peel it straight off. So that's that one done. This is his prized possession. So I wanted him to get this one back today. He's gonna get it back today. Um, absolutely beautiful. And the final one was the Piva. Now we had a problem with the Piva in as much as I, when um, removing the nut, I didn't take due care and attention to cutting through the, the, uh, the gloss, not the gloss, the uh, clear coat where the nut joins the body in it. It were about two more thick and I didn't notice how thick it was and when I hit it, it took out big chunks of the paint. I'm going to zoom in and show you. Hopefully you can see that. When I hit the nuts out, look, took these big chunks of paint out. Now when I put it back together it was virtually invisible, but it was not, for me, invisible enough. So, I had to get it fixed and I can't do it here, I can't do paint here. I don't have the facilities, I don't have a room, don't have the tools. I got the tools because I ain't got the room, you know how it works. So I had to take it to, a, to someone else, I'd take it to a luthier friend of mine, um, Clive Eastwood, out at Beaver Guitars, spelled Belvoir, as in the Vale of Beaver. 
Uh, I took it out there and he fixed it for me and he did it and it cost me, cost me quite a bit. Uh, it cost me 100 quid. But this is this is what you get with me. Um, if something happens to your guitar while it's in my possession and something goes wrong, I put it right. And anyway, I put it right and when it come back, I also had to carve a new nut and I've carved a new nut and the paintwork's been done. I'm going to show it here, I'm going to bring it around here. You won't even know that I've been touched. Clive's done a great job. There you go. And I've cut the nut by hand. It's a bone nut, brand new on there. The action's superb. Um, I thought I cut the nut a bit low, but I haven't. But there's the new nut. And there's a the guitar ready to go. Again, what a beautiful guitar. I just need to give us a little bit of a wipe because there's a bit of a tape residue on my neck I didn't see before. So I'm going to crack on with that. And um, that's it. So there you go. That's the three guitars. That's Peach's Blinders, all three of them. They're all done, they're ready to go, been great working on these guitars. Uh, I'm sure he'll be happy when he gets them back today, can't wait to see his face when he gets them back. And he can gig with him tonight, it's going to be absolutely brilliant. So that's it, all wrapped up, and until the next video, as always, be good to each other, and I'll see you soon.